So now that you've seen the Paul Davis content survival kit, let's go on out to the van and load these on, and then you'll see what else is in the van. Come on. So here's where we keep our inventory. Um, I like to stock small and medium boxes um, for the most part. We do use large boxes, but not in very big quantities. They become too heavy, and uh, there's a bigger danger of things getting broken. Here is where we keep our furniture pads. We have a big one starting tomorrow, so most of our pads are out. We like to use bubble wrap. We have them cut into quarters, and we also have them cut in half. This one here is large bubble, but we definitely prefer small bubble. What's nice is, um, as I was saying, we use a lot of medium boxes. This is my medium, this is my small, and we buy such quantities that uh, thankfully our vendor has them printed for us, which is very nice. Here's uh, protective plastic, and that's about it. So come with me, let's hop on board and see what we bring to have a great pack out. We try to be as organized as possible. Everything has its specific place, its home. This is a large uh, ramp that we can put in front of the house. I like to keep a second one, this smaller yellow one. We use this one if there happens to be a stoop coming up to the uh, front of the house. So we bring two of our own long tables, um, especially since we use those clamps. I'd rather clamp it onto my table than somebody's granite top. Um, here, we have two different sizes of ladders. These are real handy if we're doing kitchens. Um, the other is handy if we're taking down light fixtures and things of that nature on the ceilings. Of course, you wanna have some electrical supply with you. And don't forget your shrink wrap. This is really handy when you're wrapping furniture with blankets. This helps secure it very well. It's an excellent tool. But I will tell you, um, in the hot, humid weather that we have here in South Florida, we have another tool that we think is even better than using the shrink wrap. What we use are these rubber bands these gigantic rubber bands, when we cover the piece of furniture with the blankets, we then can stretch these out and completely secure our furniture blankets. Super cool tool. In addition, we keep on board these mattress covers. I only buy king size and I just use them on any size mattress. The last thing any good box truck needs is a way to secure their contents against the walls of the truck. We like to use these. They come in various sizes. And we prefer the ones that don't have the crank. Here's the type that we like to buy, where you can just secure it that way. Over here, we keep special boxes for pictures um, and for mirrors. And then I like to keep two sizes on board for televisions. Um, these handle medium and large televisions. And then back here, we have special boxes that are intended for lamps. We have pre-cut bubble wrap in the small bubble. We have plenty of packing paper. In this one, we have pre-cut bubble in one by two. These are excellent for packing glasses. The larger bubble is excellent for packaging most everything else. It seems to be a perfect size. Of course, we bring other rolls as well in case we need um, even bigger packing to take place. But most of the bigger stuff is handled with these furniture blankets. There's 12 in each one of these bundles. So of course, you're gonna have your professional dollies. We normally have three on board, um, one for super heavy things like uh, refrigerators 
and then these lighter duty ones and don't forget to uh, get yourself pads for the front so you don't stuff up anybody's furniture. And then on this particular job that's happening tomorrow, I have about 100 small boxes, about 100 medium boxes, and just 10 large boxes. Of course, we have our furniture dollies. In addition to all of the other moving supplies that you saw in the survival kit. So that's about it and I hope uh, you enjoyed this and we'll see you tomorrow at the first job.